Welcome everyone to Therapeutic Yoga today. We are focusing entirely on our hands and our feet today. So we're going to be working our hands and our feet in a couple of ways. We're going to be working flexibility of our hands. We're going to work flexibility of our feet. And then we're also going to work something called neural tension which is basically the tension of the nerves that come to our hands and the tension of the nerves that come to our feet. So if you're joining me today and you've ever had some numbness or tingling in your hands or numbness and tingling in your feet, the neural tension component of today might interest you quite a bit. So stick with me. Uh, we're going to start with just some general flexibility exercises in sitting. So I'm going to be using a bolster. The only other things you will need for your class are a strap and a yoga mat. But for the bolster component that we're beginning with, if you want to do this in sitting, by all means, feel free. But give yourself a bolster or something that you'll be able to use to support your elbows for later in class if you want to start your class in sitting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started today. So we're going to begin with a breathing exercise that is called three-part breath. Now, there are many different types of three-part breath when we think of breathing exercises. The three-part breath that we're going to be focusing today is really on the location of where the breath goes. So the three parts of our trunk that we're going to focus on our breath going to is our belly, are the sides of our ribs, and the front or the top of our chest. So what we're going to do is use a progressive or a gradual inhalation to take the air into all three pieces, and then a progressive or a gradual exhalation to take the air out of all of those three places. So believe it or not, doing this particular breathing technique, you're using all of the muscles between your ribs, all of your abdominal muscles, and your gigantic diaphragm breathing muscle. So let's make sure we're in a nice seated, comfortable position first. So maybe just roll your pelvis forward and backwards a couple times to make sure that you're sitting on your sit bones. And then sit up nice and tall for me. Make sure your shoulders feel back and down and relax so you're not kind of having your shoulders nice and high. And then in that position today, what I want you to do is just to simply hinge yourself from your hips to put a little bit of weight into your legs and your feet. Once you have that lean forward from your hips, keep it, but allow your hands to kind of open up like you're holding a tray in front of you. Just lightly shrug your shoulders up and then turn your hands, your arms, your shoulders out to the side to reposition your shoulder blades. Now in that position, just kind of squeeze back there between those shoulder blades and keep those muscles engaged and then just gently let the arms come back down without letting go of those shoulder blade muscles. Lengthen your neck and settle your chin and allow yourself to feel that length through the entire back part of your of your spine and your neck there. Hands can be up, hands can be down for today. In fact, if you like, you can even place your hands on the areas that we're gonna be focusing on breathing. So place your tongue to the roof of your mouth and close your eyes here. And the first thing I want you to do is just to take one simple belly breath, diaphragmatic breath. So take a gentle inhale into your nose and feel the air expanding the belly out. And then as you exhale, just feel the belly kind of sinking in. And then try a breath to the outside of your ribs. So this is called lateral costal breathing. So take an inhale in, feel the ribs expand outward and backward, and then just exhale as those ribs kind of settle back and down again. And then finally, through the top and the front of the chest here, take an inhale, feel the rib cage lift up and out. And then as you exhale, just let that rib cage feel like it settles back and down without you moving your spine. 
All right, so now let's go through four breaths where we focus on that sequence of breathing inward and the reverse sequence of breathing outward. So take a slow inhale, expand your belly first. A little bit more breath, expand your ribs. And a little bit more breath and expand your chest. Beautiful. Now, relax the chest as you exhale. Relax the ribs as you exhale. Then relax the belly as you finish that exhale. Three more times. Inhale, belly breath. Inhale, outer ribs. Inhale, chest breath. Exhale, chest breath. Exhale, outer ribs. Exhale, belly breath. Two more times. Inhale, belly. Inhale, ribs. Inhale, chest. Exhale, chest. Exhale, ribs. Exhale, belly. Last time. Inhale, belly. Inhale, ribs. Inhale, chest. Exhale, chest. Exhale, ribs. Exhale, belly. And relax. Now, that is a fine coordinated dance that you're doing with those three parts of those breaths. The beautiful thing about that particular breathing exercise is it certainly makes you present. There's no way your mind can be distracted about something else when not only are you thinking about breathing, but you're thinking about kinesthetically where the breath is going. Okay, let's get moving with our hands and our feet here. So we're gonna begin with our hands. So let's go ahead and take our hands and kind of rest our arms down and out to the side of our uh, rib cage. Feel the elbows kind of to the side of the rib cage and place those hands forward. And then take the thumbs and point them up like you're going to do a Fonzie thumb, if you know what that means. Now, in that position, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, rest your tongue to the roof of your mouth, and close your eyes here and see if you can synchronize your belly breath with the movement of your wrists and forearms. So as you inhale, let your palms open upward, and then as you exhale, let your palms slowly close. Inhaling, palms open. See if you can synchronize belly breath to hands. Exhaling, palms are closing. Inhaling, opening those palms. Exhaling, closing those palms. And one more. Inhaling, opening those palms and exhaling, closing those palms downward. Beautiful. Bring those thumbs back up to the center position. Palms are facing one another. Now what we're gonna do is inhale, extend our wrists. See if you can allow yourself to kind of place your palms away from you without your arms going outward. And then as you exhale, you're gonna point your fingertips towards one another. All right, wrists straight, palms, thumbs up. Make sure there's weight through your legs, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, tongue to the roof of your mouth, close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Inhale, extend the wrists, palms go away from you. And then as you exhale, flex those wrists, palms come towards you, point the fingertips towards one another. Thumbs stay up though. Three more times. Inhaling, synchronize belly breath with wrist movement. And then exhale. Exhaling as you flex your wrists, point the fingertips, let the belly relax. Inhaling. And exhaling. And one more time for me. Inhaling. And exhaling. Beautiful. Now, take all of your fingers, spread them nice and wide apart. 
And then what we're gonna be working is squeezing them nice and tight together. Allow the thumbs to kind of come up and over the middle knuckle, okay? Elbows still resting at your side. Make sure those shoulder blades are back and down. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Weight through your legs. Let's give it a try. Thumbs start up first. Take that inhale, spread the fingertips as far apart away as you can from one another. And then as you exhale, give it that nice tight grip, touch the thumb to the middle finger. Very good, three more times. Inhale, spread open nice and wide. And exhaling, close and tightly grip that fist. Inhaling and opening. Exhaling and closing. And inhaling and opening. And exhaling and closing. Very nice, opening the hands up. This time taking the hands and allowing the hands to make kind of like a, a prayer pose. And what we're gonna work on doing is inhaling, opening the fingers and palms away from one another, exhaling, interlacing the fingers and squeezing. Now here's the challenge I give you. As you open your fingers, every alternate exhale and squeeze, see if you can move your fingers from one to the other. So it gives you a lot for that little motor homunculus up here to start to think about. All right, palms together, let's begin there. Nice and tall sitting, shoulder blades back and down, weight through the legs, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, tongue to the roof of the mouth, eyes closed if that's in your practice. Let's inhale, spread open all the fingers in the palms. Exhale, interlace fingers and squeeze tightly. Inhale, opening everything. Exhale, alternate interlace and squeeze tightly. Let's do two more rounds. Inhaling, opening. Alternate interlacing and squeeze tightly. Inhaling, opening. Alternate interlacing and squeeze tightly. Two more times, one more time here, one each time. Inhaling, opening. Alternate interlacing and squeezing tightly. And finally, inhaling, opening. Alternate interlacing and squeeze nice and tight. Beautiful job. All right, now. Let's move on to doing a little bit of mobility through our feet before we start tackling neural tension in sitting. So what I want you to do is you can take your left leg and you can keep it straight out in front of you or you can gently rotate it out to the side, whatever's comfortable for you. But take your right ankle, your right leg, and gently place it on top of your left thigh. So right foot, left hand, that's what's going to do the work right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just place your right hand around your shin bone or your ankle so that you can kind of secure and not have to worry about what your hip's doing today. And then just take your big toe for me and take a deep inhale and really pull that toe outward. And as you exhale, just kind of shake the leg. Can you get a couple snaps and pops in those joints? There's a little bit of arthritis in there. There might be a lot of snaps and pops. All right, now go to the second toe. Take a deep inhale and pull that second toe out. And then as you shake, exhale, 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 exhale. And that's it. Just kind of opening up those joints of the toes. Inhale, third toe, pull it out nice and hot, hot tall. And then as you exhale, just kind of give it a little bit of a shake. And then fourth toe, inhaling, pull that fourth toe out. So you're distracting it away from the foot. And then as you exhale, you're giving it a bit of a shake. And then that pinky, take a hold of it, pull it straight out. Already got two pops for me. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, shake, shake, shake. There's another two pops for me, yay. And then let that go. All right, release the right foot down to the floor. Take the left ankle up and over the right thigh. Left hand, just hold on to the shin bone. And let's do that all over again on this side. So take your right hand to the big toe. As you inhale, really pull that toe out and then start to give it some nice, good shaking on the exhale. Second toe, inhale, pull it out nice and tall. And then as you exhale, really kind of vibrate, shake. That's really giving those joints some nice, good space, stretching out those capsules. Third toe for me. 
Nice deep inhale, lengthen those toe, that toe out and give it a good shake through the foot. And fourth toe, nice deep inhale, lengthen it out, lengthen it out, lengthen it out and shake it. And finally, that fifth toe, inhale, really pull that fifth toe out, that pinky, and then as you exhale, shake that foot, shake that toe, see if you can get some space in those joints. Very nice, take the left leg back down, take the right foot back up, and then in this position, we're gonna do the same type of interlacing we did with our hands, but we're gonna do it with our hand and our foot. So start with your left index finger and the space between your right big toe and second toe and then interlace every finger in between every toe. This is a marvelous opening, opening up of the bones of your forefoot. And so if you've ever had any sort of numbness tingling in your toes that you know is related to some sort of neuroma or nerve type of injury to your forefoot, this is what you really wanna be focusing on doing. So take your hand now that's gripping and interlacing those toes and take a nice deep inhale. And then on that exhale, squeeze and grip as tightly as you can as you're opening up all of those bones. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and you haven't kind of slumped yourself down. Deep inhale, kind of see if you can get deeper into those toe joints. And then as you exhale, really squeeze nice and tightly for me. Let's do two more times. Inhaling, opening up the fingers, getting deeper in between those toes. And then as you exhale, a really beautiful, nice squeeze and tension as you open up through those four feet. And finally, last time, open up the fingers and then inhale. And then as you exhale, really squeeze and open up those toes and that four foot bones as much as you can. Beautiful job. Just slowly take your fingers out, switch your legs, right leg goes down now, left leg comes up over that right leg. Place your right leg however is comfortable for you, but let's make sure you get the right alignment that you need to do to open up through these, these toes and this forefoot. So the right index finger, take it and place it between the space between your big and your second toe. And then interlace every finger between every space until you have all of the fingers between all of the toes. And once you're there, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, not slumped back any. Take a nice deep inhale, kind of straighten the fingers, really make sure you're low in between those spaces. And then as you exhale, squeeze and grip as tight as you can and open up all of those bones of your forefoot, of your left foot. Inhale, open the fingers, can you get deeper? Oh, I just got a little bit deeper between my pinky. Exhale, squeeze real tightly here for me. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, opening up the fingers, pushing down in between those spaces of those toes. And then as you exhale, squeeze as tightly as you can to open up all of those bones of the forefoot. One last time, inhaling, spreading the fingers, pushing them down between the spaces of the toes and exhaling and giving it just the biggest squeeze you've got for the final time. Excellent job. And then slowly allow yourself to take your fingers out from your foot. If you're sitting on a bolster, just gently turn yourself to the side so that you've got a little bit of space for your left leg to fall off the bolster. And the right knee is kind of resting. If you're sitting in a chair, just stay where you are right now. That's all that you need to do. All right, we're going to start with some circles of our right foot. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Allow yourself to rest some weight into your left leg. Have your right knee slightly bent. Take a gaze down at your right big toe. Now, in this position, check in that your pelvis and your shoulder girdle and everything is facing towards that right leg. And take a moment to figure out what would clockwise look like if I was to circle my ankle and move all of the bones of my midfoot and forefoot, or rear foot, sorry. So clockwise, what is that motion for you? Now, hopefully you got it. Take a deep inhale, point your toes all the way up towards your head, and then as you exhale, do a clockwise circle through the ankle and foot. Good, let's do that two more times. Inhale, point the toes all the way up, exhaling clockwise circle. Wonderful, and one more time. Inhale, point the toes nice and high, and then as you exhale, do that clockwise circle of the ankle joint and midfoot. Now, release your foot, 
figure out counterclockwise. Guess what? It's just the opposite direction. So take that inhale, point your toes up, and as you exhale, counterclockwise through that right foot, and then relax the foot, nice and tall with your spine. Inhale, point the toes up, exhaling counterclockwise as the entire foot goes around in that circle. And one more time here, inhale, pointing those toes up, and exhaling counterclockwise with that foot. Very nice. Now, without changing your position, grab your yoga strap for me, please. And take your yoga strap and place it underneath the ball or the forefoot, so where the joints are in the top or front of your foot. And so what we're going to do now is a little bit of a seated stretch, but also a little bit of a nerve stretch for our forefoot and really the entire right leg here. So here's what I want you to do. Make sure your knee starts in a bent position. Have your spine nice and tall, so don't be slumped backwards. And then allow yourself to hold the strap, whatever you're using, and pull your ankle up into as much bend as you can to point your toes towards your head. Maintain that. Now take an inhale and try to straighten your knee. Do you feel the stretch? And then as you exhale, bend it down. See if you could keep your toes up while you're doing this. Inhale, straighten the knee exhaling coming down let's do two more times inhale straighten the knee exhaling coming down and final time inhaling straightening that knee and exhaling coming down beautiful slowly release the strap just place the strap to the side we're going to use it again on the opposite side but allow yourself if you're on a bolster to turn so now you've got your right leg resting down to take some weight bearing support and your left leg the knee is kind of at the edge of your bolster all right check in that your pelvis and your rib cage and your shoulder girdle are all facing towards that left leg and that your knee is slightly bent now look at your left foot for me and figure out what is clockwise. I know we've already done this, but it's a different foot, so you have to use a different part of your brain here. Sitting up nice and tall for me, take an inhale and pull the toes all the way towards your face or your knee, and then as you exhale, clockwise circle of that ankle and foot for me, and then release your foot. Let's do that. Two more times. Inhale, point the toes up, and then as you exhale, give me that full circle around clockwise. And inhale, point the toes up, and as you circle, full exhale, very nice. Now, counterclockwise. So pull the toes up on the inhale, exhale, counterclockwise through the foot and ankle. Try to keep the leg upright, don't let the leg rotate. Relax the foot. Two more times. Inhaling, toes up, exhaling, counterclockwise around that full circle. And final time, inhale, point that ankle and those toes up, exhaling full counterclockwise for me. Very nice. Grab your strap, you know where it's going. Place the strap around the ball of your left foot, so that should be in the forefoot area, not your arch. And once you get yourself in that position, start to use your arm strength to really stretch that ankle as far as it can so that your toes and your ankle are pointing upward towards your body. Now, keep your spine nice and tall. Don't let yourself slump back. So sit nice and tall for me. Now, in this position, this is all about a little bit of nerve tension or maybe a lot of nerve tension for you at home. But keep your spine nice and long. Keep that tension into the strap and keep that motion tight at the ankle joint. As you inhale, straighten the knee. And then as you exhale, let it bend. Three more times. Inhale, straightening the knee. Exhaling and relaxing. Inhaling, straightening the knee. Exhaling and relaxing. One final time here. Inhaling, straightening that knee. And exhaling and relaxing. Beautiful. Slowly take your strap. We're going to use the strap again once we lay down on our back. So just take the strap and place it somewhere near your yoga mat so that you have it. We've got one more thing to do in sitting before we transition to a different position on our mat. So here's what I want you to do. Allow yourself to rest your left hand on your left leg and take your right hand and gently bring your hand out to the side so that it's at the height of your shoulder. Now in this position, what I want you to do is to turn your palm upward. You may already feel tension through your right arm. 
Make sure your neck is nice and long, your chin is gently tucked inward. Then what I want you to do is try to point your fingertips downwards towards the floor. Do you feel a little bit more of a stretch or tension? Now in this position, keeping your spine nice and long, fingertips pointed downward, just slowly squeeze your shoulder blade back and down as the entire arm goes behind you. Finally, the last little piece of this neural tension, just very gently let your head side bend to the left. Now don't crank on your head, just let yourself side bend, but you should be feeling some nice good tension through that right arm right now. Holding this position, let's do two diaphragmatic breaths. So nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. One more time, pull those fingertips down, make sure your elbow's straight, inhaling in and exhaling out. Beautiful, bringing your head back up, allowing yourself to bring your arm back to the center, unrotate the palm and rest the hand down onto the right thigh. So let's repeat that on the left side. So keep your spine nice and long, neck nice and long. Left arm comes out to the side. Once your left arm is out to the side, turn your palm up. Then start to work on pointing your fingertips downward towards the floor with your elbow straight. Now. Think about this motion coming from your shoulder blade for me. So allow yourself with your fingertips pointing down to pull your shoulder blade back and down. So it's not an arm movement, it's a shoulder blade movement. Very good. Now in that position, gently lengthen your neck, settle your chin and side bend your head to the right. Oh boy, do I feel tension on this side. All right, two deep diaphragmatic breaths for me. Deep inhale in. And exhaling out. And one more time, point those fingertips down, straighten that elbow, shoulder blade down, inhale in and exhale out. Bringing your head back up, releasing the shoulder blade, palm down and relaxing your hand on your thigh. All right, now let's make our way to hands and knees. And as soon as you get yourself in hands and knees, take your bolster and place your bolster so that the bolster is uh, lengthwise on your mat where you would normally have your wrists if you were going to go into hands and knees. Check in that your knees are hip distance and you can't see your feet behind you. And then once you have all of that set up, just settle your hips down onto your ankles and then gently allow yourself to rest the crown of your head so the hairline of your head should be somewhere near that very edge of that bolster. Now, once you're in this position, just allow yourself to stay here for a few moments and just start working on breathing in and out through your belly. So deep inhales in and deep exhales out at your own pace. Deep inhales in, deep exhales out at your own pace. Very nice. Now slowly bring yourself up into hands and knees positions, but have it so that rather than being on hands, you're on elbows. So check in that as you did that, you didn't change your foot position, you didn't change your knee position, but your hips are stacked directly on top of your knees. And then check in in this position that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Now take your palms and face your palms towards one another and take your thumbs and place your thumbs upward and then just hold that position through your hands. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do what oftentimes is called a shoulder blade or a scapular push-up. So just in case there's some nerve tension related to the rib cage, we're just gonna do a little opening through our shoulder blades here. So hold the arms perfectly still as you take in Inhale, as you take an inhale, let your chest drop, squeeze your shoulder blades together as much as you can. And then as you take an exhale, spread your shoulder blades apart as much as you can. You can even drop your head down if you like, but don't let your hands move. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, sink everything down, really squeeze those shoulder blades. If you get a pop or two, that's not a bad thing. And then as you exhale, really spread those shoulder blades apart to kind of let your head drop. 
two more times. Inhale, sinking everything down, really squeezing between those shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, spread those shoulder blades apart from one another. Just gently let your head drop. Final time, inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze those shoulder blades together, drop that rib cage down, and then as you exhale, curl everything back up, let your head drop, walk yourself up onto your hands, and sit yourself back into child's pose. Now this time, allow your elbows to stay straight and gently let your head kind of fall towards the floor in front of your bolster, or, or behind your bolster, I guess it's a matter of how you look at it. But just give yourself a gentle, gentle shoulder stretch here. And don't create any pain. If you've got some impingement in your shoulders, you might find it a little bit more comfortable to turn your thumbs up right here. And take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And then exhaling outward. And one more time, nice deep inhale inward. And exhaling outward. And beautiful. Bringing yourself back up into hands and knees here. Now, we're gonna be working on stretching through our ankles. So, what I want you to do is figure out for you where on your yoga mat you can bring your legs straight behind you and your toes are still on your mat because you want the traction of a yoga mat to do this. So for you, if you need to move your bolster up, you can. Op options for what we're gonna do next. You can either do this on your wrists, on your bolster, or you can simply come down onto your elbows. And if you're doing on your elbows, just simply interlace your hands together, however is comfortable for you. Whichever you want to do, do today. But then allow yourself to take your right leg and take your right leg straight out behind you. Now, take a look back. As you look back, can you see that the outside of your right foot lines up with the outside of the mat? Once you have that, take a nice deep inhale, straighten your knee, really tighten your thigh, and as you exhale, push your heel back. You should feel a beautiful stretch through your calf muscles here. Deep inhale in, tightening the knee. As you exhale, push that heel back as hard as you can to open up through that calf and Achilles. One more time, inhaling exhaling as you push back using the strength of your arms and your left knee here beautiful slowly release that bring the weight back onto your elbows take your right knee and place it in so that it's stacked underneath your hip right foot is still in correct alignment and then take your left leg out straight now same deal look back at your left leg look at your foot does the outside of your foot line up with the outside of your mat? So your leg might feel more turned inward than it normally does, but that's really how you're gonna make sure you get both sides of that calf muscle. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin here, take a deep inhale, straighten that knee as tight as you can, and as you exhale, push that heel back as much as you feel comfortable. Nice deep inhale, straightening through the knee, exhaling, pushing that heel back. Let's do one more time. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, really push back with that left heel. And then slowly releasing, bringing the left knee back down, allowing yourself to settle yourself back down onto your heels, dropping your head down, straightening your elbows, a little bit of opening through the chest and the upper back here. Take a couple deep inhales and exhales through your belly. One more big one. And then slowly making your way back up. Now, in this position, we're going to do the other muscle of our back of our calf. This is the one that's often forgot about and usually the one that people really need more flexibility in. So again, totally up to you. Stay on your wrists if you like. Come down onto your elbows. You pick what you want to do today. I think I'll stay on my wrists for this one. Um, FYI, if you're on your wrists, the good thing about a bolster is it allows you to kind of push your wrists slightly forward so that you're not really putting a lot of strain on them. Uh, but allow yourself to do whichever feels comfortable for you. Now, right leg, bring the leg back straight again. 
can you go and look back and see that the outside of your foot lines up with the outside of the mat? Now, in this position, then allow yourself to bend your knee so that your shin bone runs parallel to the floor. And so once you've got it that your shin bone runs parallel to the floor, make sure that the outside of your foot didn't turn inward so it's still straight. Now here's what you're doing. This is more of a lean back through your left hip here. So keeping that right knee bent, take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, lean back and feel that stretch through that lower half of the calf muscle, maybe even a bit of pinching in that ankle joint if there's some restrictions in that joint. Keep that knee and that shin level to the floor. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, push that heel back as much as you can. And one more time, deep inhaling in. Exhale, push that heel back. Beautiful, slowly coming forward, dropping the right knee down, repeating it all over onto the opposite side. So left leg, get it straight first. Look that the outside of your foot lines up with the outside of your mat. Then drop your knee and your shin bones so that they run parallel to the floor. Now check in that your leg didn't turn inward when you did that. Take a nice deep inhale here, and as you exhale, push that heel back. Feel that opening through that front of the ankle and the lower half of the calf. Nice deep inhaling here, exhaling, pushing that heel back and it's really a weight shift from the right leg. Let's do one more time, nice deep inhaling here. Exhale, push back, push back, push back. Oh boy, that left ankle is tight on me as well. And then inhaling, coming up, dropping the knee to the floor and then slowly allowing yourself to sit back. And dropping your head down, allowing yourself just to kind of open up one more time. Nice deep inhale into your belly. In that child's pose, exhaling out. Inhaling in. And exhaling out. Very nice. Now, from here. Slowly allow yourself to take the bolster and just move it off to the side of your mat. Once you've done that, allow yourself to start to tackle these wrists and the flexibility of the wrists. So here's what I want you to do. Stack your knees and your hips. Make sure that your knees are hip distance. You can't see your feet behind you. Take your palms and turn your fingertips towards your knees. Can you get your index finger to point towards your kneecaps? Aha. Now, in this position, make sure that your elbows are straight or as straight as you can get them. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take an inhale and just gently rock your body slightly forward. And then as you exhale, try to sit back and open up through those wrist flexors. Nice deep inhale, a little bit of a rock off of the end tension. And as you exhale, sit back and really open up through those wrists. Two more times if you've got it. Inhale, rock slightly forward and exhale. Try to sit back, feel that opening through the flexors. And finally, inhaling, rocking forward and exhaling, sitting back and opening up through those flexors. Beautiful, slowly unrotating those hands, sitting your hips back towards your heels, letting the belly rest on the thighs, this time dropping the head all the way down to the floor, resting your elbows. Let's go through those beautiful two deep inhales and exhales again. So nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Deep inhaling in and exhaling out. Very nice. Now, we have one more round to do. We have to do now our extensors. So these are usually the tightest muscles of your wrist and your hand. They contribute to a lot of issues in your elbow, particularly related to what is called tennis elbow or a lateral epicondylitis. 
I do not encourage doing this particular activity with both wrists at the same time. So I'm gonna talk you how to do it one wrist at a time. So bring yourself up into hands and knees, get that good alignment, get some nice good strengthening happening through your spine as you maintain that position. And then in this position with your right hand first, turn the palm up and place your elbow and your wrist directly underneath your right shoulder. Now, spread the fingertips nice and far apart. Allow yourself to straighten that right elbow and turn the crease of your elbow to the top of your mat. You should already feel that pretty good engagement of this wrist and those wrist extensors. Now let's go through that rocking motion with the breath. So really stretch out the fingers, try to keep that elbow rotated as much as you can. Take that inhale, lean slightly forward, most of the weight onto the left hand here. Now as you exhale, gently go to the tension into the wrist joint and those wrist extensors. Inhaling, some of this tension off, exhaling, coming on back. Let's do that again, inhaling, exhaling, coming on back. Beautiful, slowly inhale forward, exhale, release the hand. Now, let's do that all over again on the left side. So take the left hand and turn it so that the palm is up at the fingertips are placed towards the knee. I'm gonna turn myself slightly, I think, so you guys can see this one. So that's the position that you want to be in. Elbow and wrist are stacked directly underneath the shoulder. Right hand is taking quite a bit of your weight right now. Spread those fingers out nice and tall, but here's the important part. Straighten the elbow and pull that wrist to the front of your mat. All right, let's give this a try here. So take that inhale, rock slightly forward. Exhale, rock back and open up through those wrist extensors and that wrist. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, rocking on back for me. That's it, keep that elbow straight. Pull that crease of your elbow forward. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, rocking back. We did four on the right, we might as well do four on the left. Inhale, rocking forward and exhale, rocking back. Beautiful. Slowly inhale, rock forward, release that wrist. Allow yourself to once again, settle those hip bones towards those heels, belly towards the thighs, chest downward. Allow the head come down onto the mat. Rest the elbows out to the side. Literally let yourself do circles with your wrists, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever works for you. As you're doing the circles with the wrist, you can keep your head up if that's comfortable for you. It's kind of hard to get your head to the floor while you're working on your wrists. And once you feel like they've loosened up some, then slowly allow the crown of your head to come back down to the floor, resting here. Take a couple of really nice deep inhales and deep exhales for me. And then slowly coming up, make sure that you've got your yoga strap and then allow yourself to take your yoga strap with you as you come down onto the side of your body and then roll yourself onto your back. Now, We've done a lot already to open up through our feet and our ankles and our wrists and our fingers and even some through our elbows. We've done some good neural tension work through our upper body. We've done some neural tension work through our lower body. So we're gonna do a little bit more neural tension for the feet. So lots of nerves have problems in the feet. And I wanna make sure that we really do as much for the feet as we did with the hands. So, as you're finding yourself in a rested position on your back, check in that your shoulder blades are back and down, your neck is nice and long, your chin is tucked in. Just take your yoga strap, please, and just rest it over your belly for me right now. And take your right knee to your chest, a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, pull your knee deep and into your chest. Deep inhale here. And then exhale, pull that knee into your chest. Now, just let the left leg slide down the mat, get a little bit of opening through that left hip flexor. And then in this position, let's go through that circling ankle and foot movement that we did while we were in sitting. So 
Inhale, bring the toes up, and then with the right foot on the exhale, do a clockwise circle of that ankle and foot. Relax your foot. Inhaling, pointing the toes up. Exhaling, clockwise circle. And then relax the foot. Inhaling, pointing the toes up. Exhaling, clockwise circle. And then relaxing the foot. Going to clockwise now, inhaling toe up, exhaling clockwise with that right ankle and foot, relaxing the foot, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, ladies and gentlemen, inhale toes up, exhale counterclockwise circle, and relax the foot, and final one, inhaling toe up, exhaling counterclockwise circle, and relaxing the foot. Beautiful job there. Slide the left leg up, release the right foot to the floor. Take an inhale, bring your left knee to your chest. Exhale, pulling it in nice and deeply. I'm doing that one more time. Deep inhale into your chest. Exhale, pulling that knee nice and deep in. Shoulder blades are back and down, neck is long, chin is tucked. And then slide that right leg down and get a bit of opening through your right hip flexor. Okay, so let's do those same three breaths, each movement on this side. So inhaling, pointing the left toes up, exhaling counterclockwise first, relaxing the foot, inhaling, pointing the toes up, exhaling clockwise with the foot and ankle, relaxing the foot. One more time, inhaling, toes are up, exhaling clockwise circle, and relaxing the foot. Let's repeat that three times counterclockwise. Lengthen the neck, settle the chin. Inhale, toes up. Exhaling counterclockwise and relaxing the foot. Left toes up here. Inhaling, toes up. Exhaling counterclockwise and relaxing the foot. Final time. Inhaling, toes up exhaling counterclockwise and relaxing the foot. Did you feel some burning in either of your feet as you did that? Nice good use of those ankle muscles. That's our goal with this. All right, finally, allow the le right leg, sorry, to slide back up and then exhale, release the left to the floor. Okay, strap time here. So take your right knee to your chest and get your knee to your chest and then take your strap and place the strap in the same place that you did when we were sitting. So not through the arch of your foot, but actually on the ball of your foot. Once you have that kind of holding the strap on the inside and the outside of your leg, sliding the left leg down the mat, take a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, pull your right knee nice and snug into your chest. Shoulder blades are back and down, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Now, Pulling on that strap, take an inhale and try to straighten that knee. There's some beautiful neural tension you're working on there. Exhale, let it go. Let's do that three more times. Keep that knee to your chest, inhaling, straightening the knee, exhaling, letting it go. Keep the tension in the ankle so that you're getting that movement of those nerves as you inhale. Exhaling, letting it go. Let's do one more time. Nice deep inhaling, straightening the knees with that ankle fully dorsiflexed, and then exhaling, letting it go. Great job, guys. Inhale that left leg up, take the strap off of the right foot and release the right foot to the floor. All right, let's do it on the opposite side. Take that inhale, bring that left knee up into your chest, and somewhere around that exhale, get that strap up and around the ball of your foot not the arch of your foot today. Take a nice deep inhale here and then on the exhale, pull that knee nice and tight into your chest. Keep it into your chest. Keep the tension on the ankle the entire time. Shoulder blades are back and down. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin and then take that right leg straight down the mat. All right, let's get four times neural tension of the nerves on this side. So inhale, straighten the knee. Really allow yourself to keep that toe and ankle stretched. Exhale, coming back down. Three more times here. Inhale, straightening. Exhaling down. And inhaling, straightening for me. 
Exhaling down one more time. Let's do it. Inhaling and straightening. And exhaling and down. Beautiful. Allow yourself here to kind of slide that right leg up. Take the strap around away from the left foot and rest the left foot on the floor. You are done with your strap, so just gently placing it off to the side of you. In this position, making sure that you've got lots of arm space left to right. And then allowing yourself to keep your feet hip distance on the floor, um, knees hip distance. Just keep your feet flat on the floor, keep your pelvis still. Bring your arms gently out to the side of you so that your arms are in a T formation here. And then simply in this position, take a nice deep inhale, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, and then rotate your head to your right thumb and your right hand. And then allow yourself to in this position, take a deep inhale into your belly and then exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale into your belly and then exhaling out. Turning your head back to the center, lengthening the arm, shoulder blades are underneath you, neck is long, chin is tucked. Turning your head to the left side this time, gazing at the left thumb. Taking a nice deep inhale here. Through the belly, exhaling out. Inhaling in. And exhaling out. Gently bringing your head back up to the center, taking your left leg, sliding your left leg down the mat, taking your right foot up on top of the left thigh, left hand to the right knee, keep that right arm out to the side of your body, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, take a nice deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, start to twist the knee to the left, lift the back, lift the rib cage, go as far as you feel comfortable, Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, turn that gaze back towards that right thumb. Nice deep inhale into the belly now, please. Deep inhale in. And exhaling out. One more nice time, make sure your neck is long. Deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Slowly bringing your head back to the center, starting at that left rib cage and unrotating that spine, getting that pelvis back down onto the floor, letting that knee come back across the body, placing the right foot on the floor, sliding the left leg up, left arm out to the side of your body, right leg down onto the mat, left foot up onto the right thigh, right hand to the outside of the left knee, lengthening the neck, settling the chin, taking a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, bringing that left knee to the right, lifting the pelvis, the low back, that rib cage go to your level, keeping that neck long, that chin tucked, rotate your head towards that left thumb. Check in that your tongue is resting on the roof of your mouth here. Take a deep inhale into your belly, and then exhaling out. Nice, deep inhaling in. And then exhaling out. Slowly turning your head back to the center, starting at that left rib cage, unrotating down, getting that pelvis finally back to the mat, letting the knee come out to the uh, side a bit, left foot onto the floor, slide the right leg up, Kind of settle your pelvis downward here. And then gently when you're ready, taking your right heel to the right corner of your mat, the left heel to the left corner of your mat, finding yourself beautifully positioned on your mat, taking your arms just gently away from you. Elbows are straight, palms are lifted, lengthening the neck, settling the chin, resting the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Letting the legs relax completely. And gently closing the eyes. 
And going back to focusing on that three-part breath, just for three breaths. So can you, in this position, take an inhale into your belly, a deeper inhale into your rib cage, a deeper inhale into your chest, and then can you slowly let your chest relax, slowly let your rib cage relax, exhaling, let that belly relax. You got it. Two more times, inhale into the belly, inhale into the ribs, inhale into the chest, slowly let the chest relax, slowly let the ribs relax. Slowly let the belly relax. One more. Inhale into the belly. Inhale into the ribs. Inhale into the chest. And then slowly let the chest relax. Slowly let the ribs relax. Slowly let the belly relax. Now, just normally breathe. Press your feet, check in that your toes are relaxed. Rest your hands, check in that your fingers and your thumbs are relaxed. Just let yourself normally breathe here. And as you observe your breath, slowly feel it going in and out. Maybe even saying to yourself in and out. And then when you're ready, do something different at the end of our class today. So do some finger movements, do some toe movements, do some wrist circle movements, and then bring your feet to touch one another and point your toes all the way away, straighten your knees, gently bring your arms up above your head, touch them yourself if you want, or just have them reaching up overhead. Now, take a deep inhale and point your toes away, lengthen your fingers away, Take a deep inhale, and then as you exhale, let that go completely. Slide your feet up one foot at a time, and then gently let yourself roll over onto your side. Rest there for a moment. A nice deep inhale in, and a nice deep exhaling out. And then when you feel you're ready on your next exhale, using the top hand and the bottom elbow, pushing yourself up into a seated position. Finding a beautiful little easy pose here. A fairly gentle class, but a nice good intention and focus at keeping our mind consistently thinking of our hands, thinking of our feet. Hands are to our hearts and smiles are on our faces. Nice deep inhale in and out. <sighs> Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Why, well, thank you for joining me today.